Uh, this game is frustrating to watch. Hello everyone, my name is Kieran, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Port vs. Doncast game. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please do a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, to begin with, my overall opinion of the game. We were bad. It was a game of two halves. So the first half, we were playing a high press ball. It was working. We were def we were pressing the Doncast players, making them uncomfortable, and we got a few chances from it. It really worked. Second half, we try to play out the back, go for a counter attack. Now and again, we try to just pass it to Day and he kicked the ball up the field. Issue is, Joe Day half the time can't, he's not the best in the world at kicking the ball. Let's be fully brutal. I love Joe Day, he was great, made some very good saves. But kicking is definitely a thing that lacks in his game to a certain extent. He would just kick it and it would end up going straight to the opposition or it would be hit towards, you know, plays that aren't going to win a header. But midfield, awful. Lost the midfield battle in every way possible. We were out muscled. Passing was sloppy. It was it was awful, man. Uh, defense was pretty good. Uh, Farkasen, he put on a pretty good performance. Mickey was pretty decent, apart from their goal. Their goal was so frustrating. Why? Because our defense didn't close him down. I believe it was Mickey that was stood by the guy for the first goal for that goal. He was uh, Joe Day beat at his near post, which is frustrating. But yeah, Joe Day was great, made a lot of important saves. But it was frustrating to watch because he could have been closed down so easily, and we just didn't close him down in time. And it's unfortunate. But uh, defense, other than that, was solid the whole game. I think uh, Mickey did have a good game, regardless. Drysdale had an iffy game, but he was pretty. You know, we only conceded one in a game that we could have conceded two or three. So defense, I don't think we have a problem there. It's the uh, it's the uh, it's the midfield and the attack. We can't create it. We try to play like I said in the second half. We try to play a pass the ball out. Can't do that if you have a midfield that can't pass. That, that, it's kind of an issue, right? Uh, forwards, you didn't really get to see anything from them because they didn't get any chances from the midfielders. It was unfortunate to watch. A game of very few chances for us. We had one shot on target, I believe. And we had one that like hit the side netting. I thought it went in originally, but unfortunately not. I believe that was in the first half. But regardless, it was nice to be back for Rodney Parade. That's the first game I've went to since Grimsby, which we lost 2-0. But it would have been nice to see us uh, have a good performance, a better performance than that. I'm confident that Coughlin will get us into a situation where we're playing better football again. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's going to be a shorter one. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And yeah, take care in a bit.